Scott Hamilton here with Rockfile Radio backstage at Queensryche with Fate's Warning tonight. We're in the culture room in Fort Lauderdale sitting once again with Whip, Mr. Michael Wilton. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So the verdict hit stores on Friday. Congratulations. Fucking amazing album. Yeah, this is Internet Radio. We can. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're, we're really happy. You know, it's making a big splash and, um, you know, we put a lot into this album and it's it's great to see the reaction now that it's available to everyone and and uh um you know we're we're really excited to tour on this we're probably going to be busy on this one for at least two years so um we're we're really excited and uh you know it's it's just it's getting great reviews and we're we're uh um just you know ecstatic about it you use the same production team what was different about it this time because things are um, I, I've liked all all the albums with Todd so far, um, but this is a little more next level, a little more cohesive, a little more of the Queen's right personality. I think. Um, well, the the inherent difference is that this one was less organized. <laughs> <laughs> that sometimes is a good thing for rock and roll, though. And I think that's the key. Um, we had to kind of uh, we had a bunch of scattered ideas, uh, so, you know, half written demos, lyrics, uh, riffs, and all that, and. Um, as far as the production, we had our producer Zeus again, and he kind of made sense of it all, you know, and, and we just kind of figured out all, you know, what ideas were the best and, and, you know, built the songs, you know, song by song, basically. And, um, you know, and, and as you know, uh, uh, no easy task for, for Todd LaTorre, our <laughs> vocalist, you know, he uh, played the drums on this album. That was going to be my next question. Right. So, you know, as we're... I heard he was a little chomping at the bit for a chance to do this, yes? Oh, he's, he's a great drummer, you know? And this, this was a, you know, a platform for him to shine. But, you know, to keep it in that bubble of the, the Queensryche uh, right. percussion tradition. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it was, it was very thought out. I mean, all the drum parts were thought out. It wasn't just a wham bam, you know? He didn't just get behind a kit yeah. and swing away. No, no. I mean, and, and the whole album's like that. You know, every song is, is well thought out and, and developed because it had to be because we didn't have any songs. <laughs> but um, no, it, it, and, uh, and so, you know, it, it may have taken a little longer, but I think, you know, in the, in the end run, it, it's something that, you know, everybody had to be on their A game creative wise. And, uh, you know, and, the, and, uh, there's an excitement, you know, because you don't know how they're going to actually turn out. Right you when know. you start, right. Right. And, uh, but, you know, again, that's what's cool about being in a band. You know, you have your trust in all your different uh, uh, creative spices that are, you know, being used in the, in the pile, per se. And you're all more familiar with each other now. Right, you know. And, and you know, it's like... It's like uh, a big glob of clay, you know, (laughs) and everybody's, you know, putting their touch to it. And when, what comes is, is like, you don't know. And, uh, and it was, you know, each song was, was such a a surprise for us, you know, and, um, you know, we, I mean, deep down, we knew they were good songs and good tunes and, and, you know, it's something you throw at the wall and it stuck, right? (laughs) (laughs) So it had to be worth something. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah, th- this one was definitely a different approach for us. What are your favorite songs? Like, uh, we've heard a couple of the new songs during the sound check. Sounds great. What, what do you like to play off the new album? Um, well, right now we're doing uh, the, the latest video that we released, Blood of the Levant. Amazing video, by the way. Yeah, thank you. And um, we're doing uh, Man the Machine. We're doing Light Years. That's um, a big fan favorite already, I hear. Yeah, and uh, we're working uh, propaganda fashion into the set. Um, uh, later in the fall, we're going to work uh, Dark Reverie and probably Bent into the set. And uh, um, so, yeah, we're really excited about it. You know, these songs were kind of motivated by uh, touring, you know, all the live shows that you do. And, and um, because, you know, bands have to tour all the time right, right. now. So if you have to tour all the time, you might as well write songs that are fun to play live, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so that's, that's kind, of, kind of was infused in the writing process. 
You said this has been the most progressive album you guys have done in a long time. How, where did those elements come from? Who's the big prog guy in the band? Oh, we all are. Yeah, you know. Well, you gotta, you know, you gotta keep it interesting for yourself too. Right. You know, so it's, it's. Y- you've never been a three chord band, anyway. No, <laughs> no. Um, Twenty or thirty in a song, you know. <laughs> you know, we do things in sixes and sevens, and and, uh, um, but you know, it's it's just. We've always done that, um, and 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 it's just it, it just makes the songs a little more interesting for us, and 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 for you as well. Definitely for us as well. Love seeing you guys. Uh, how is it playing with Casey? We're Camelot fans. We saw him for years with that band, mm-hmm. and he now calls you his Reich brothers. So he's like uh, like a like a like an official touring guy. <laughs> yeah, he's he tours with us now. He's, I think it's been two years, and. Uh, He's really uh, grasped, you know, the new uh, songs. Um, fortunately, he and Todd live in the Tampa area, so <laughs> so they can you know, get together and Todd can show them, you know, the drum parts. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you guys bring some of the older songs, we heard you doing a, a nice deep cut from uh, the Warning earlier during the sound check. How do you guys pick? You have such a, an extensive catalog now. It's it's really tough. You know, I mean, this this tour, uh, the set list is is based upon, you know, 50 percent legacy, 50 percent new. And uh, it's, you know, in a 75, 80 minute time span. Good luck (laughs) (laughs) with our discography. You know, songs are a little longer than than your average. (laughs) Yeah, we have a, a, a couple, you know eight minute songs in the set so that it eats a lot of real estate <laughs> so we were talking to the fates warning guys out here before you came out and they said uh, you called them is this a good bill you wanted to work with these guys again yeah we've toured with them before and you know they're good musicians and um they put on a good show and they're, they're great live so um this was a you know a good opportunity for us to to nab them while they were on hiatus <laughs> now how long does this tour go for it goes to uh, I think the first week of April. Mm-hmm. Um, then there's uh, we get a couple weeks off, and then we're we're working on going to South America, and then we come back, and then uh, summertime we're going to Europe and doing all the festivals. We're there for three or four weeks, or I think it's five weeks now. But um, and then we come back, and then we do the uh, uh, the Megadeth cruise. Nice. Um, and then you've done a few of those cruises lately. You're enjoying the uh, the sun and the surf. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, quite used to them now. I got my got my sea legs now, and you know. Was the first one rough? Yeah, it was really rough. <laughs> but, you know, when you're playing and trying to step on your pedal board and and and, and not throw up. Oh, or or not fall over. <laughs> Come on, it's an interesting element. Uh, maybe one day you could work that into a stage show where it keeps you on your game. The stage tilts a little bit during the show. Yeah, and that's, you know, without alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so the new album is in stores. Uh, the tour is going to last a while. You said you're going to be touring with it for two years. I can't even ask you what's going to happen after that because you have no idea. Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm getting older, obviously, and I'd like to get a, another album out, you know. Not four years, maybe two and a half years. The sooner the better, yeah. kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do in the time off? What what time off? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you had a couple weeks when you guys hit Seattle. Oh yeah, it's it's you know. You see friends, or you play golf, yeah, or we go back and, and you know we have normal lives, and uh, you know if the weather is nice, I like to go hit the golf course. And, uh, clear but it's mind. Seattle, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's, you know, we're, we're traveling musicians. We travel all the time, you know, and we're always, sometimes we do weekend shows all the time, you know, and it's, it's uh, um, uh, you build up a lot of, uh, you know, f- flight miles. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so you got to use them sometime. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's nice to get the upgrade once in a while. Well, from a fan, thank you so much for being stand-up about the whole Pledge Music thing. I had, I had bought a package through them, and then the, you guys announced that they had no money. They had been stringing you along, and you guys have come to the fans' rescue. You're fulfilling some orders out of your own pocket, and you've been very upfront about it. So thank you for that from the fans. Yeah, we're doing what we can, and uh, you know, th- this just hit us like a ton of bricks. It was like, 
you know, we got phone calls in the night, DEFCON 5, um, all the money's gone. <laughs> I was going to say, for me, it was like 30 or 40 bucks. It was like, big, not a big deal. You guys, it was like, you know, 70 and change or whatever. <laughs> well, actually, it's six figures. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're working on that, and they're, they're trying to work it out somehow. So I don't, I don't know. You know, it's, it's an it's a ever-ending process right now that is is obviously probably going to go into court <laughs> so. i think it will but but thank you from all the fans for just doing what you could yeah we're, we're trying you know i mean obviously they didn't fulfill their responsibilities and, and it's like we have to do that now and and in some way without you know going bankrupt right. the <laughs> on, on the first tour <laughs> Well, for the music, for loving the fans, for everything over the years, thank you, Michael Wilton, for everything Queensryche. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks for supporting uh, Queensryche. Thanks for supporting, you know, hard rock, metal, you know, all types of music, and, and especially live music. I think that's where it's at. I, I just don't get the same vibe off listening to a Spotify thing. I got to get out there and get sweaty, you know. That's right. You got to feel it. You got to absorb it. And that's what it's all about. Totally. Catch Queensryche on tour. They're right now on tour with Fate's Warning. You don't want to miss that show. Thank you. Thank you.